IGN just released nine minutes of Star Wars Jedi Survivor gameplay, and I gotta say, this game looks to be pretty much exactly what I wanted. The gameplay takes place after Cal Kestis has crash landed on a new planet known as Kobo, and he fights not only the wildlife, classic, but also the former occupants of a Lucre Hulk class battleship, which appears to have crashed on the planet. It seems like some unknown group is using the battle droids on board for their security, probably against local wildlife, indicating to me that we may not see battle droids outside of the planet. That's interesting because it indicates that we may have a real wide array of enemies to fight in the final game. There were a few things that really stood out to me during this gameplay trailer. One would be the expanded lightsaber combat. We're seeing Cal effortlessly switch between different lightsaber styles, and each style has a wide array of moves. The battle at the end is pretty interesting, not only because we see the IGN player use a bunch of these different styles, but also because Cal joins a battle midway in progress and is forced to face off against different enemy types, including droid commandos. We can also see how his power has obviously increased since the last game, which makes sense because, well, he's been training most likely. I'm also guessing that we probably get our powers pretty much from the beginning, and anything we gain in this game will be on top of what Cal earned at the end of Jedi Fallen Order. This may even be one of the first planets, given the fact that we're seeing pop-ups explaining psychometry, or psychometry, which is one of Cal's basic powers, although it is unique to him. A few other things we noticed, for one, Cal just absolutely murks this random chicken. There is a lot of fighting animals, not surprised. Some people weren't a fan of that in the first game, it's definitely come back, and there's even a hint that Cal will be facing off against much larger enemies. We also see a much expanded customization as Cal gets a bomber jacket, which clearly is not simply a recolor of the outfit he's wearing now, which is nice. Again, Cal's got a bunch of new lightsaber moves, he's got new powers, the UI is different. We see what I think might be some droid dismemberment here, and of course the animals come apart when struck as well. Overall, the game looks great, looks to be an expanded version of Jedi Fallen Order, not really changing anything fundamentally, but to be honest, that's what I wanted. A few people were complaining about some of the animations looking bad. I actually didn't notice that for the running or anything. The only part that I thought looked kind of meh was when he was jumping up the wall. Sort of the repeated animation over and over again didn't look great.